The first alert on that rain chance coming up in your full forecast. Jesse. Welcome outside. We have the beautiful, talented Viv Williams with us today. Thank you. Thank you. Out on our weather patio. And thank goodness for you because we kind of had, we were trying, but we needed the master gardener out oh. here with us. <laughs> You're very kind. It is not all me. I mean, Steph, <laughs> Steph has done a t great job. The general yes. manager, beautiful stuff. But yeah, and I have to say we're being blown away a little bit. A our little hair. Bit. Yes, right? our hair is getting a little, a little blown away. That's okay yeah. with that wind blowing look. Right. Now, before that we get into the garden, 70% yes. of people, and you said smoke, I agree with that. <laughs> Yay! We were laughing out here. He, he just like took his headphones off our camera for a second. It's so funny. Yeah. Well, you know, that was just came to mind, right? It, right. Not yeah. that. No, 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 we've no, ever, no. however, no. Yeah. however, people I know, friends, exactly. Right. Yes, yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me out here. It's oh, so this beautiful. Is just gorgeous, yeah. So, before we, one more thing before we get into how to take care of flowers that are in the sun, because it's really hot back here and some yes. flowers wouldn't do too well. So, I'll talk about planting in the shade versus in the sun. But first, I have to share a video with you of my dogs. These are my garden helpers. Oh. Aren't, and uh, is hopefully the video's up. Is They've got a video, yep. Isn't it cute? That's little Ruby in the golf cart. She's sitting there sniffing in the front and Big Jeb is oh. behind. I just love them. Seriously. Yeah, they're so cute. How cute. And yeah, we watched it. I got a sneak peek ahead of time. Um, do they ever dig stuff up? Are they trouble? Um, yeah, totally. 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 <laughs> and they like to ju like jump up in the beds and sometimes sit on things. So oh, it's so, you thank know, you. They try exactly. to help, but not really. <laughs> so let's talk about okay. these plants. I'm excited. So these are so beautiful. So out here it really, really bakes. And if you're in an area where the sun beats down on flowers, you want to make sure you have flowers that can withstand the heat. Okay. These petunias, these pink ones are fabulous for that. Lantanas as well. Sunflowers. We might run into a little bit of problem with the New Guinea impatience because these don't like as much sun. They'll probably do okay. Um, what are these yellow? These are a type of canna, canna lilies. Those are beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? Yeah. And they'll do fabulous and they'll be blooming all summer. But the one thing about them is that they're not really lilies. So don't let that fool you. Okay. They're called canna lilies, but they're not related to real lilies, which is I thought interesting. Yes. And then this is coleus. And under here you can kind of see and there's coleus that can do really well in the sun and also there's coleus that should be in the shade and these plants are they almost feel like succulents to me so they really oh, need yeah. water and if you walk over here with me you can see what happens when they don't get enough water oh, kind of sad. sad yes so when you see them like this it, they're saying please give me a drink. water me and you really don't want a plant to get like this because some plants have a hard time coming back okay yes and then up here this is cool this is butterfly oh, plant and this uh, butterflies and bees love the color purple so this is great for to attract pollinators okay mm -hmm. so uh, on the on the contrary if you don't want to attract bees and pollinators maybe not plant purple right okay. right but they're gonna they're gonna come to your they're flowers anyway because anyway. <laughs> they really need it we need them yeah we do and they need the the plants but geraniums do really well in the sun and again more petunias and they, you know, petunias used to be so boring. They were like red and white. Now they right. come in every color. It's beautiful. How, so how is that? Is they just, I think that they, you know, just develop different varieties cool. and that, yeah. Yeah. And people who are um, obsessed with plants like me, <laughs> they, they, you know, get scientific about it yes. and, and propagate new types. So Very it's kind of cool. cool. I know, yeah. I knew you would know the like how <laughs> of that. <laughs> Not, I'm kind of, sort of know the how. But yeah, so these need water too. These are kind of like, limp and that you really just have to be careful about that in the sun. I don't know if people remember, but before this gorgeous setup was here, we had uh, pansies, yes. which were gorgeous, but they will not last the seasons. Okay, because they're they, kind of just a springer, spring bloomer? A spring bloomer, or? and they'll come back in the fall, and they'll bloom okay. throughout the summer, but they're just gonna like, in the heat out here, they're just gonna Too burn much. up. So it's really important to look at the tag on your plant to make sure if you plant it, where to plant it, in the sun or shade, because if you plant, mm -hmm. I planted uh, petunias once on my covered porch, yes. and they just, there was no flowers. Oh. And then I moved them to the sun, they were so happy, and then I've 
you know, blown out so other flowers. it really flowers. matters. It really, it really matters. Take, they're trying to help you, people like me, <laughs> who are like, I just can't grow them. Read the directions, right? Yes, That's yes. helpful. <laughs> totally <laughs> helpful. I know, if, if things aren't intuitive, I mean, why no. have, I don't read directions either, but with plants, I recommend it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love all of your tips. Thank you so much. Yes, so this welcome. is what you plant in the sun. I do have to ask, when you yep. water them, I know we've talked about exactly how, you want to water them more at the base, is that correct? Yes. You okay, try I'm to learning from you. Oh, thank <laughs> you. You want to avoid getting them on the leaves. Okay. It's less important with some of these plants than it would be for, for uh, tomatoes because they really are susceptible to diseases and less so Oh, and that here. makes them a little bit more um, yeah, but, open to those things. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And the moisture can, you know, let mold and stuff like that grow. And then you also want to look on the tag to think about fertilizing too, because you oh. want to give certain plants like geraniums really nice, a nice fertilizer, light fertilizer once a week. These don't need it as much, but nice. read the tag and you'll figure it out. <laughs> and also one quick thing too, yes. soon we're gonna set up be set up so you guys can ask, send in questions yes. and we can answer them for you on TV as well as online. That's so gonna be maybe really next fun. week. Yes, I love that. Thank Yay. you so much, Viv, You're always. Welcome. Yeah, keep uh, follow our Facebook page so you will be right the very first one to know when we're doing the questions with Viv. And we'll be right back after this.